the next couple of minutes, we want to share uh, the blessings of the Lord. Thank you for the flowers. I appreciate, I appreciate the flowers. You know, we don't often thank God for our trials. We don't often also thank God for our heartaches and difficulties, although we are willing to praise him for his goodness, we sometimes fail to realize that even advanced circumstances that come to us are still in the plan of God. We fail. We need always, by the grace of God, to know where we are so that we can learn to praise God. When we count our blessings, we need to include the weakness, the hardship, and the trials we face. If we do, we might find the burdens and the trials we face. If we do, we might find that God has used our difficulties more to bring good to us because things always work together for good. You see, it is difficult, I say again, for us to find ourselves in a place of thanking God when things are not right, when things are not the way we need them. But the Bible tells us his strength is made perfect in our weakness. 2 Corinthians 12 and verse 9. And you need to take a moment always to think about the way God has led you, why God brought some people in your life, and the blessings that he has brought to you. Because God is always at work, working and doing the things that he seems fit to do. Thanksgiving. You see, this is what I want to share in about these few minutes. First Thessalonians, first Thessalonians 5, 16 to 18. Na hata nikipitisha kidogo hamuta kuwa na shida sana, sawa sawa. The Bible says in 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 and to 18, Rejoice evermore, or if you like, rejoice always. Verse number 17, Pray continually or without ceasing, giving thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. I've said again, it is not easy always to give thanks. But this is the very thing that we must do in order to see God's will accomplished in our lives. And this is how we move into the higher realms of faith for ourselves, for our families, for our churches, for our community, for our cities, for our nations, even for this world, when we learn to give thanks. Thanksgiving has great power to bring joy and break the power of the enemy. The devil hates you when you are rejoicing. Did you know there are people who want to annoy you? So when you are annoyed, they get annoyed and they enjoy annoying you. But if you don't get annoyed, you annoy them more. And I think we need to annoy the devil and some of the people that want to hurt us more by not agreeing to get into their league that they want to, to, to us to get into. So when, whenever you give thanks to God, despite the most difficult circumstances, the enemy loses a big battle. He loses. You kind of take the enemies without knowing. Whenever you give thanks to God, even in those difficult circumstances, you bring pleasure, joy into the heart of God. Because God is looking for men and women that will be thankful. Thankful for what he has done, praising him, honoring him, thanking him for his goodness. And the devil is defeated when we thank God because the devil would like us to blame God. The devil would like us to blame the day we were born, you know? And, and that was the whole idea. This lady, if she entered into that league, you, you, she would have not gotten the victory that the Lord did. And you know, it is good that she got to a place and she refused to fight the battle. You, you saw the, the clip that went viral. You saw her fighting. And you know, the people that saw her fighting, she's a fighter. But she can't win that battle. Did you know that? There is a battle that you don't need to engage yourself. We need to allow God to fight the battle for us. Because every battle God fights for us, he wins. 
But before we do that, we try everything. We try our muscles, we try lawyers, we try people. But when we settle down, God gives you victory. You know, <laughs> following this lady, when miracles started happening, they followed each other like this. We had not even stopped celebrating her getting to a big house in Fika. We hadn't. Then she said, I have been given these children to come and visit me. Uh, 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 you know, it is following each other. Finally, before we are, what I'm saying is, when God fights the battle for you, you sit back and marvel at the doing of God. Are you thankful? Are you thankful for your present circumstance? Are you thankful for even your salvation? Are you thankful for your friends? Are you thankful for your job? Because thankfulness is a key to your life and very important. It is a key that turns situations around because it changes you, changes your outlook, changes your attitude. And that heart of thankful giving will always be rewarded by God. And for you that are watching us from wherever you are, you know it's good for you to know even where you are, it doesn't matter the circumstances you are in, you can celebrate the goodness of the Lord. You can declare, I am who I am by the grace of God and I can do what the Lord Jesus Christ says I am. Because thanksgiving brings contentment. When you become a thankful person, utatosheka, because you thank God for ndoma and water, you will thank God. You will thank God for ndoma and uji, you will thank God. You will thank God for uji pekeyake, you will be thankful. And what that, that means is make, makes you content. Ukiangalia jirani yako, unaweza jua alikunywa chai ama alikunywa uji. Si ukimwangalia unaonekana kama alikula sausage na nini na and you know I can bet there are very few people in this church this morning who had a breakfast their sausage na bacon na eggs. Unaulizwa how do we make them? But the way we look is like we, we ate that, the five course breakfast. Najua kuna five course breakfast. Wagine amju iko. Five course. When we begin to thank God for all his blessing he has given us, instead of dwelling over the negative things, there is a way that God works that in a special way for us. Loving God, worshiping him, worshiping him in regardless of whatever. The, the, the Paul, the life of Paul, I was looking at the life of Paul and I thought, this is interesting. Because Paul is in prison. He's writing a letter of Philippians when he's in prison. But he's so content that he's encouraging the people outside. And he's telling them, Philippians 2, 5 to 8, he's trying to tell them to have some attitude it, uh, that Jesus had, even whatever situation. Can you put it for us? Uh, Philippians 2 verse 5 to 8. Philippians 2 verse 5 to 8. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Who being in the form of God, thought not lowly to be equal with God. He never thought about that. But he made himself of no reputation, took upon him the form of a servant, and was made in the likeness of men. Verse number 8. And being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself, became obedient unto death, even the death on the cross. What the, this passage is trying to say, Paul, even in prison, is thankful to God. Because he's saying, I want to follow Jesus, who was God, but he humbled himself, carried the cross. He humbled himself, and we need to humble ourselves. Because... This is a quote that was given by Elizabeth Elliot and for some of you that have read her book. She says this, Jesus loved the will of his father. He embraced the limitations. He embraced the necessities. He embraced the conditions, the very chains of his human humanity as he walked and worked on earth. Fulfilling moment by moment his divine commission and the stand demands of incarnation. Never was there a word or even a look of complaint. He never complained. He was thankful to the Father. Even when he prayed, Father, Father, can you change this situation of the cup that I don't take it? Finally, he said, not my will, but your will be done. Offer God a sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. Become a person that can thank God 
for the things that he has done for us. In Psalms 116 and verse 17, the Bible says this, I will sacrifice a thank offering. I will offer to thee the sacrifice of thanksgiving and will call upon the name of the Lord. This, this writer here, he's trying to say that there are things that I have to be careful about. I will sacrifice to the Lord. Let each one of us seek to have an attitude of gratitude because it is an attitude. An attitude of gratitude and thanksgiving. Raising or going before many things else because to complain is natural. Friends, hata saa hii, kuna watu labda wana complain kwa sauti zetu hizi sound. Na kuna wengine wanashukuru Mungu. Na mko church hii tu. Wengine wanasema hiyo sound siku hizi inatoka nzito na kuna wengine wanasema bado iko na echo. And both of you are right. And both of you are correct. But you know God is looking for that person that will be grateful to the Lord. Kwanza anasema, "Hey bishop siku hizi awekagi kare karebeko." Unajua kuna watu walikuwa wakiona karebeko hapa wananiambia bishop amejikata. Nilikuwa nikishikiria hiyo mic kwa sababu ilikuwa inacheza inaenda hivi inaenda inateremka. Sasa ninaishika na karebeko. Kini sasa hii ni mavaa. Haishikagi na karebeko. Somebody should thank God for that, that that one too. So what I'm saying is your attitude. Attitude is very very key that you seek to praise God for more things than the way you complain because I tell you for sure and for free you complain with one thing yet God has given you nine other things. Bwana atusaidie. And there are three ways to practice an attitude of thankfulness in every day life and then I will finish. Si umeona hapa nimejaribu Asante sana. Si unipigie makofi. Nikifika points. But you don't know that I also told you I'll give you one point, but I'm giving you three. Number one, thank and praise God for everything in your life. Learn to thank God. Wake up in the morning and thank God for you are a man. Thank God if you're a man. Thank God if you're a woman. Thank God if you're married. Thank God that you have children. Thank God if you don't. Thank God if you're not married. Thank God that, you know, you, you should even thank God and say, I am so smart. Ata vijana badro hawezi kunichezea. You know, I'm so smart. Chaku complain at vijana wanioni. You thank God. Hey vijana, unasimama kwa kio unajiangalia. I'm so handsome that one of these days I'm going to get my missus right. You know, you start being thankful. You wake up and say, mi na uzaga mboga. Na mboga zangu, natangaza mboga. Nisikize mboga. Ukona masikio ndiyo? Mboga, kazi yenu ni kununuliwa, watu wa wapike, wakule ugari. Leo hii, nataka kwenda kukuuza. Umesikia? Ununuliwe. Ukwe na posture ya kununuliwa. You know, it's always good to talk to this thing. Kana posture ya kununuliwa. Like we normally tell you, be intelligent. This thing is going to abroad. You know, this thing is going to the U.S. and Canada and other places. Be intelligent. Usipigwa lafu. Hata kama unabarakoa, macho ingarangare kidogo. Sidiyo. So we need to be thankful to the Lord. Thank God for who you are. Kuna, kuna kipindi. Nasiyo kukosa chai. Kuna kipindi mi usikia napenda kunywa uji na nduma. Sasa ukiangalia wale watu wamesoma hii kisomo. What are you doing with this touch? What are you doing with this thing, both of them? No, I'm just enjoying it. I thank God for it. Ay. At unaweza kwenda kwa hotel uyu teacher uji, eh? Unaweza iticha getheri, ndiyo? Kwanza getheri ambayo, haija, you know, ni ya kuruga rugia hivi. Yeah. Rafu itisha kikombe ya uji. Tulembushe zote, getheri ya uji. I'm saying be thankful. Wake up in the morning and thank God. You know, niliokolewa na msichana wetu, msichana wetu tunakaa naye nyumbani. Kuna kiatu nilikipenda. Lakini bahati mbaya sikuwa nimeangalia chini kwa sababu anakutayarishia, anakuwekea chini. Wewe kazi yako ni ku ni kuvaa. Sasa siku moja nimevaa na niambia na dukagere hadu he mai. Mwisho kwa nini? Why did you not tell me a long time ago? So I removed it. Because you, you, But you know, we need to thank God. Hata kama. Hata kama. We need to thank God 
for those situations. Thank God. And you know what? Let me tell you. Some of the people that people think have a lot of wealth or they come from good families are people who are always happy because they are thankful. Na labda hiyo nguo amevaa jameni. Kweli ni important. Lakini it is imported from United Gekomba. Anaifua, anaipiga pasi. Ukimuona, where did you get this dress? And I said, I don't want to tell you. It is important. Actually, if you look at the collar here. But I want to be thankful. Hallelujah. Let's learn to be thankful to the Lord. In the book of Hebrews 13 and verse 15, you know, it is good for us not to, to allow situations of complaint. Can you put it up there? It says this, By him, therefore, let us offer the sacrifice of praise to God continually. That is the fruit of our lips, giving thanks to his name. Yani, wewe mtumanoki, unafukushukuru mungu, ata wakati mambo ni mazito sana. I'm saying it is difficult, but if you learn it, it will give you contentment. Au tatamani ya mtu, wewe utakuwa content na vile uko na vio. If you learn to celebrate what God has given you. Number two, don't allow yourself to complain about anything. You see, during difficult times, by very nature, you need to be careful because those are the times that you are what. If you don't watch your tongue, you will complain. Can I tell you something? During Corona, the prophecies that came were many. Hey, kida mtu anatoa unabi. Na unabi yao, si unabi ya kujenga. Ni ya kubomoa. Wekini wanasema, usidungwe shindano. Nikakumbuka kuna kipindi wakati kenyata halikuwa raisi wetu tuliletewa kathirikari. Harapu watu wakatuambia, hiyo ni chakula ya punda na farasi. Tukaamini. Sisi ambao tumetembea Amerika. Yellow, yellow corn. Hehe. <laughs> Iko bay. Kwaza inapakagwa bluebird. Unaikura ikiwa soft. Na hapa tulikata, na kenyata akakubali. Hatutakura chakula ya farasi tena. That's why yellow maize has never come here. But it's so nutrition. We learn to... <laughs> I don't know. So in other words, in this country, what we thrive in is lies. We are so good in picking lies. And those lies, sometimes you believe them and you even tell others about it. Like you are the one that has come from you. Learn not to complain but to thank God for everything. I corona, kuna watu wamebarikiwa wakati wa corona, na hiyo nasema amina. Na nimewaona. Nimewaona. Kuna jamaa alianza kujenga nyumba wakati corona imetangazwa, akaingia wakati corona hiko when it was six months or five during the corona, amebarikiwa wakati wa corona. Huyo siyo mungu. Of course I know kuna wengine tulipotaza kazi, but why should we just keep on complaining? Oh, tulipotaza kazi. We need to say, Hey, although nilipoteza kazi, si Zakari amebarikiwa. Wakati wa corona aliingia ndege, ikampeleka Kakuma. Ni Kakuma mama neturukana. Bas, wakati wa, wa wakati wa hiyo kitu, Zakari anaingia ndege. Ndege inampeleka Kakuma. I say, karibu aseme, I would like corona to continue. Big. <laughs> no, of course he doesn't pray for that, but what I'm saying is that there are people that can thank God for that because God Help them. There are some that started businesses and other things. My prayer is, let's leave the line of complaining. Let's get into the line of thanksgiving and give God thanks. God is good. God is good. I want to finish by saying this. Number three, don't compare yourself with others. The biggest enemy of yourself and myself is comparing ourselves with others. You compare their silver, you compare their gold, you look at their wealth, you look at their life. Wengine kwanza unakumbuka ulikuwa mwerevu kuwariko, na hiyo inakuumiza sana. Si mimi ndiyo likuwa namba moja? Eh, we ndiyo likuwa namba moja alafu. Sasa unanisaidia, eh. The question, unanionea wivu kwa nini? Na mimi siyo mimi nimejipatia ni mungu. Si unge shukuru mungu kwa sababu nimepewa, you can come to me ni kusaidie. Have, have you known that? Where you learn to celebrate the others. Like now, for example, Virginia, we celebrate her. We say, God, 
If you did it for Virginia, hata mimi utanirudishia mali yangu iliyoliwa na nzige. Atarudisha. Atarudisha namna gani? We mgoje. That's what I've been teaching. Waiting upon God simply means you relax in his presence and these things will come because there are some of you that God will surprise you. Don't wish that your life was different. You know, nikiwa mdogo, watoto wote, watoto wote wadogo wanapendanga mahali wanaingia wanapewa sausage. Lakini sasa shida ni kwamba waliingia wakati kulikuwa na sausage. Na nikwambie tena sausage ya yangu kila siku. So you can come to my house ni kupe sausage. I don't eat it every now and then. Maybe hata nilikupikia wewe. Sipikagi inakuwa imewekewa wageni. So wageni wamekuja atoa mbili karangia hawa. Sasa unakula unasema hiyo nyumba ni mzuri. Tukiwa watoto kuna nyumba moja jamaa alikuwa amejua kupika samaki na kaugali. Alikuwa ametoka vihiga. Walikuwa wanafanya kazi na baba yangu. Nilikuwa nikichezea karibu kwao. Na unajua watu ni wazuri sana. Wewe kimani ingia nilikuwa na goja hiyo. Kagiza kameingia kimani ingia. Kwa sababu ka samaki ka kipande kako namna hii. Na ugali. Hehe. He. Unajitetea pale alafu unaenda nyumbani. Sasa ukienda nyumbani sasa kuna kavagi asi yaliru huko. The point the point that I'm bringing is that a little thing can cause you to miss your blessing kwa sababu ya muhai. And you know it's like you, you <laughs> Me I'm, I'm 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 so thankful I was born black and I know the white people don't love black people. But whether they love me or not it is not their business. Mimi ni choice ya Mungu. Yes. And God knows what is best for you. Some of us are quiet, some of us are loud. Some of us are tall and some of us are short. But all this is God who has done it because he knows our best. So instead of complaining that I'm short, I will use Zachary anitolee hiyo kitu iko juu. Sitaomba Bwana hebu nirefuke. Kwa sababu naye Zakari kuna kitu hawezi toa kwa chini ananiambia eh, na dukitonye harugu ojo You know that kind of a thing. So all of us are important. So we don't because I'm, let me let me be honest with you. You want so many things until you should ask yourself. Sasa ni nini nzuri? Unataka dege na una pali ya kupaki, unataka gari una una mafuta ya kuweka unataka lori hata una driving license unataka basi sasa ukipewa hizo zote what are you going to do with it i pray at unataka uwe mzungu ukienda china una ah afadhali kuwa mchaina eh hey, mjapani na ah mnigeria na i mean friends at mean ningependa kuwa mama and ningependa kuwa baba you know i told you the other day we are all unique and if god can help us to say that to get to a place mimi niliumbwa hivi kazi yangu iko my, i have my work as a lady as a man lakini sio kujaribu kujibadilisha mara sijui umefaa nini mara umeweka nini mara unajaribu ni hey, jameni don't compare yourself don't wish that you, your life was different god knows what is better the bible says having a thankful heart is god's will for you in christ jesus so when you begin to thank god for what you have Rather than comparing yourself with others and complaining of what you don't have, it will open the door of God's blessing you. Hallelujah. I want to finish with this word. Rick Warren says this. God smiles when we praise and thank him continually. Few things feel better than receiving heartfelt praise and appreciation from someone else. God loves it too. An amazing thing happens when we offer praise and thanksgiving to God. When we give God enjoyment, our own hearts are filled with joy. If we learn the secret of just saying thanking God. Can I tell you even some of you begu unaotaka ni kidogo sana ndugu Moses. Nikwenda kuambia Jane thank you. Utafute tu kitu ya kumwambia thank you. Hata kama ni ile ya miaka mumeona mwambie thank you. Alafu kama hata utapata maua kwa sababu za ingine unaweza kuitwa kwenda TRM kununua maua. Kata moja ukipita pale, umwambie 
Happy Valentine Day. Ladies, happy Valentine. Men, happy Valentine. My wife came with red. I forgot my red. <laughs> Blessed be the name of the Lord. Let's learn to give thanks to the Lord for everything and every situation. We are so glad that we can celebrate together with Virginia and our family the doing of the Lord and what God has done for them. He can still do it for us and even do much more because what we need is not, we don't need back 12 children. She needed her 12 children. Yeah. So I don't know, your children are three, maybe they are two or one or whatever. You, you are asking according to your need. Do you nasema usitamani yake? Kwa sababu kulea watoto kumi na wawiri. Siyo ni neema. Hey. Nirienda pahali jana, watu waka introduce you. Huyu, huyu ni namba tano. Kwa sababu kuna namba tisa. Mtoto mungina kaniuliza, watu tisa. Kwa ni tisa, because kwa huyu dada kwa ni watatu. Na anaonaga kisungu mguti. Kwa hivyo, huyu dada, tukimuona tuna, tunampa salute, tunajua, ni kibarua. Kwa hivyo, maombi yota tumwelekeze. No wonder the ladies here, when they heard the story, every effort was towards making sure Virginia will... Watoto wajaribiwa kulipiwa shule. Wa, you know everything that was being done. Mimi nilikuwa napata ma report tu. Ati sasa Virginia mepewa fungua. Sasa meingia nyumba. Hey. Hai nilasema ina hui ni maendeleo. Na hai Virginia lipo toka hapa. Hakaenda nyumba pa, parashio. Nyumba parashio. Haka tutumbia picha. Sama hii. From two bedrooms to this mini. Hui anaitagu wa mungu. And you know what? Usiwe na kijiju. Learn to thank God. Learn to thank God. Hallelujah. Receive our praise, O Lord. Receive our praise, O Lord. Blessings and honor we give unto you. Receive our praise, O Receive our praise, O Lord. Receive our praise, O Lord. Blessings and honor we give unto you. Oh, receive our praise, oh Lord. Receive our wonder. Oh, care, oh, care if I wanna. 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 How many people are thanking God they are in families? You have your father, you have your mother, you have children. Pokea se fa buana. Pokea se fa buana. Oh, eshima tu kufu taku kawele. Pokea se fa buana. How many of you are doing business? You have a business. Kama ni kuza nini? Kuza nini? You have business. You have business. Let's stand God together. Pokea se fa Buana, porque assim foi buana. O eixo mal de um grupo de uma culpa ele, porque assim foi buana. How many people are here? You had a job, you lost it. You had a job, you lost it. Anybody who lost a job? All right. How many people of those who lost the job? They had a job one time. Yani siyo ya kubatisha. Ilikuwa meandikuwa hile pama na hindi na pena chalo. Because the secret is this. We want to thank God for that. Ata kuwa pare tuko. Pokea sifa buwana. Pokea sifa buwana. Eshi mautu kufu tuwa kupawewe. Pokea sifa buwana. People, you are looking for a job now. You have even applied. How many people have applied for a job? You know, God is looking for our heart. Our heart. Hallelujah. Let's give Him praise because we have also applied for a job. Okay, I say, Fabwana. Okay, I say, Fabwana. Eshima utukufu to 
sahau na ni mambo mengi bwana ametufanyia kuna wengine ulifanyiwa hata hukuitana watu wa shukuru eh hukurudisha shukurani hata labda hii wiki tu kuna kitu bwana amekufanyia na as we talked about thanking god you felt he kwani mhubiri aliniona siku kuona lakini ningependa wewe na sisi tuingie ka club ka kushukuru mungu ulilipiwa kuna mtu alikuripia gari mwingine akakunulia chai Mungi, na haujashukuru Mungu you know kwani unafikiria ni lazima ununuliwe chai na mtu oh mimi nilinunuliwa la siku shukuru kwa hivyo nimekumbuka ni jana ni juzi nilinunuliwa chai pale TRM and i think to join the people thanking god pokea sifa bwana pokea sifa bwana heshima utukufu utakupa wewe pokea sifa bwana Our heavenly Father, receive our praises. Oh, there are many things that you have done. Look at that lady you healed. Look at that provision you provided to our brother. The journey masses that you gave to that sister and that brother. Dear Father, the care that you have taken over them during the coronavirus and shielded them and protect them. We come to say thank you. We thank you for that mother who is so thankful that all the children are back in school and that you have provided the fees for them. Receive the praises. We want to thank you even for that man that is believing you for a new venture. Lord God, receive all the praises, O oh Lord. For Virginia and her family receive her praises today and we pray, dear Father, that they will live in the aisle or in the line of praising you and exalting your holy name. We want to pray that Heavenly Father, those people that have been touched by Virginia's testimony, that they will come to the saving grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and become disciples of the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ. Therefore, Father, today, this afternoon, we were just coming to thank you and to give you praise. When our time to leave the sanctuary comes, we pray that you dismiss us with your blessing. For this is our prayer indeed. In Jesus' name. The Lord bless you. Amen.